Welcome back. Today in this video, we will discuss about Hot Standby Router Protocol also known as HSRP. Hot Standby Router Protocol is a Cisco proprietary protocol that allows several routers or multi-layer switches to appear as a single gateway IP address. HSRP allows you to configure two or more multi-layer switches as standby switch and only a single switch as an active switch at a time. All the switches in a single HSRP group shares a single MAC address and IP address, which acts as a default gateway to the local network. The active switch is responsible for forwarding the traffic. If it fails, the standby switch takes up all the responsibilities of the switch and forwards the traffic. In this lab, I will use two layer 3 switches and will configure HSRP between switches. In the first step, I will configure trunk links between switches as I am going to configure multiple VLAN with different HSRP groups. But before moving further, give a unique host name to both the switches. As you can see that interface gig 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 are showing connected and part of VLAN 1. Let's configure both the interfaces as trunk. Now both interfaces are working as trunk interfaces. Trunk ports do not have membership in any particular VLAN. We can check with show VLAN command. In next step we will create VLAN on both the switches. Here I am creating VLAN 10 and 20 with name HR and IT respectively. Let's configure interface VLAN 10 first. Here we will assign 192.168.1.2 IP address with slash 24 subnet to interface VLAN 10. As you can see that interface VLAN 10 is showing up. Now we will use the standby command to configure HSRP. We will use number 10 with standby command to define HSRP group. We will use 192.168.1.1 as virtual IP address. This virtual IP address will work as default gateway for the clients in VLAN 10. Now HSRP is electing active and standby roles. As you can see that this switch is now active in VLAN group 10. We can also check the HSRP information with show standby brief command. Here you can see that interface name is VLAN 10 and the group is 10. Current priority of HSRP in this group is 100 which is default priority. The current state of switch is active for VLAN 10. Standby switch is showing unknown because I have not configured second switch till now. Here virtual IP for VLAN 10 is 192.168.1.1. Let's configure interface VLAN 20 as well. Here I will assign 172.16.1.2 IP address with slash 24 subnet to interface VLAN 20. As you can see that interface VLAN 20 is showing up. Now we will use the standby command to configure HSRP for VLAN 20. We will use number 20 with standby command to define HSRP group for VLAN 20. We will use 172.16.1.1 as virtual IP address for VLAN 20. This virtual IP address will work as default gateway for the clients in VLAN 20.
Here you can see that interface name is VLAN 20 and the group is 20. Current priority of HSRP group 20 is 100 which is default priority. The current state of switch is speak for VLAN 20. In speak state router will send hello messages and will join the election to see which router will become active or standby. Standby switch is showing unknown because I have not configured second switch till now. Here virtual IP for VLAN 20 is 172.16.1.1. As you can see that HSRP state for group 20 is changed to active. Let's check HSRP information for group 20 again with show standby brief command. You can also use show standby all command to view detailed information about HSRP groups. Let's configure secondary switch as well, but don't forget to save configuration before moving further. In next step we will configure a meaningful hostname and same VLAN on secondary switch. As you can see that interface gig 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 are showing connected and working as trunk. Interfaces are showing trunk because both interfaces are auto-negotiated. Let configure both interfaces manually to works as trunk only. Let's create VLAN 10 and 20 and configure interfaces for both VLANs. Here we will assign IP 192.168.1.3 for interface VLAN 10 because 192.168.1.2 is configured on switch 1. We will use same virtual IP 192.168.1.1 here as well. For VLAN 20, we will use 172.16.1.3 as interface IP. Here we will use 172.16.1.1 as virtual IP address for group 20. So we have configured HSRP on both switches. Now check HSRP status on both the switches. As you can see that HSRP negotiation is completed and currently switch 2 is working as standby for both the VLANs. Let's check the status on switch 1 as well. As you can see that switch one is working as active for both the VLANs. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you very much. If you like this video please click on thanks and share your love.